I was not actually planning to, to start a barista school. I just needed something new. So I rested for like three months. Then after three months, I was like, okay, now I need to go back to work. Mm -hmm. Then that's when a friend of mine uh, told me, but Esther, just start with what you know. Just start with what you know. You are a very good coffee teacher. Why don't you just start your, your own uh, barista school? And that's when the idea came about and I started pursuing how to start a barista school. Okay, when I started, I, first I started freelancing. Yeah, because uh, starting a barista school is capital intensive. Like just uh, an espresso machine, and this is entry level espresso machine, is uh, half a million. <laughs> yeah, it's half a million. So I started by freelancing. Uh, I didn't have a space. I just used to do some international certification because I'm an, uh, I'm an uh, what's this, authorized uh, SCA trainer, which is an international organization called Speciality Coffee Association. So I am internationally certified. So there are some students who wanted to do that uh, international certification. So I just uh, talked to a friend of mine who was my former boss, who is running a coffee shop, yeah, to just use this coffee shop. Remember, I don't have a, a premise, yeah, so I had to use this coffee shop. So that's how I started. Then eventually, um, I started from a, residential, from a residential area because I needed to keep my expenses very low. So I started from a resi uh, residential area and uh, my first class had two students, yeah, the second class, one student, and it just grew. Until now, I, would, I outgrew the residential area and came to a commercial, commercial space. Remember, I had the experience, and uh, while I was working at Dormans, they, they started the first barista school in Africa. And I'm the one who started it. Uh, yeah? So I had the experience from just having one student, two students, and that's why I knew uh, it didn't kill my morale, because I had done that before, while I was uh, employed. I was also the first uh, internationally certified uh, barista yeah, back in 2006 and I was the one who started this uh, first barista school in Africa, not only in Kenya, in Africa. So of course uh, the first students, uh, we, we had three students, two students, so I had had experience. So it didn't uh, demoralize me. I knew so long as I keep persisting yeah, and I'm consistent, I knew it will grow. You know, barista is still something very new, yeah? So most people are, are just doing it for commercial purposes. So they are not really, um, what's this, keen on that professionalism. And because I've had so many years of experience, professionalism is one, one, one thing. Because when students come, they can tell. They can tell an, an experienced person, a knowledgeable person, a skillful person from just somebody who's just doing this thing for, uh, you know, to get money. So number one, professionalism. Number two, quality. Yeah, so professionality and quality goes hand in hand. So give quality uh, training because quality training is, is what is going to set you apart from your competitors. Yeah? The other thing is uh, persistence yeah, and focus because when I started, some people are like, eh, this uh, barista training thing, eh, people don't know it. Why can't you just start with coffee shops? And you see a coffee shop is something that is already established, people know it. So you are the one with the dream, you are the one with the vision. So don't let people uh, make you deviate from your, from your vision. So focus is another very key element. The other thing is, um, what's this, consistency. Just keep consistent, don't give up. Yeah, just keep being consistent and everything will, will open up.